automatic with the semi-automatic Couldn't handle any ready for anybody to buck that Call the catch a vibe and the way in hell we leaving nobody alive Leave a suicide, no, fuck that Nathan for the villain is he killing us I'm coming for your man and his lady and even the baby I'm feeling this Nathan Mendelssohn back here with Travis Lindahl With another technique of the week here, okay? This week I'm going to show you guys a little uh, escape from the half X guard Okay, and then a, a fancy little transition into an omo plata Okay, if you're able to get the escape from the X that, That's already really good the Omo Plata is extra, okay, but it is there a lot of the time, so um, it's also something really good. But this half X escape is essential so that you don't keep getting stuck into this half X guard. The half X guard is the beginning of the person putting you into the X guard, the 50 50, and all kinds of other bad stuff for you. So if you can get right out of it as soon as a person puts you in the half X, then that's a really good thing. So um, please subscribe, okay. Like the video if you liked it. Leave your comments in the comment section and stay tuned each week for a new technique, okay? Here we go. Coming up at the fucking SC town. NorCal going all the best we round. Lyrics like clips giving you all these rounds. Handicap blind, I can't even see you clowns. Better must see you around. Then we gon' see you be down. Women was turning me down. Wish you was seeing me now. Better be being the sound. Driven to be in the crown. Leaving them all bleeding and I'm fleeing to be in the clouds. Living it up, spit it like nothing, I'm driven to bust Ripping this motherfucking rhythm to dust Never giving this up because it is a must Women in lust and they feelings get crushed You do not know you ain't built for this stuff I'm about to blow you, yeah, I'm still on the cusp But I rip it cause spitting it ill is a must So, so the guys got me here in a uh, half X guard position Okay, this is, some people call this a single leg X or whatever I've always called it the half X guard Okay, so Think of it as a half X guard and then a full X guard. So, but usually people, when they start to pull you into these types of guards where they're in between your legs, this is the first position that they go to, okay? This is the easiest one to get to. So if I can get back out of here right away, then that's really good for me because from here, it's just gonna get progressively worse for me where I have less and less options and he has more and more options to sweep me. So from here, he's probably gonna put me in a at full X guard, which is even worse, or a 50-50, which is even worse and even harder to get back out. So if I can just get out of this quick, then that's the best thing that I can do. And this type of an escape is a really explosive way to get out of it. So anytime the person puts me here, first thing I do, I like to grab his pants, get the palm of my hand here on his shin and pin it to his butt here, okay? So that his, this hook won't be able to follow me, okay? My top hand, I'm gonna come onto his toes and I'm gonna peel it off, okay? But a lot of people get stuck here and then they don't know where to go. Like they try to push this knee in and come here where the guy's probably just gonna block my hip and just put my, me back in again. Okay, or I'm trying to pull my leg out or whatever. If I stay facing him here, he's just gonna keep me stuck in. That's one of the good things about this guard from when you're on the bottom. So what I have to do is peel it. Now I have to look completely to the opposite side. Complete opposite wall, okay? Turn, pivot on my foot so I'm facing completely the opposite way, okay? When I turn this way, now I can sit my butt back, okay? When I sit my butt back, I'm gonna look to just kinda put my hand on the ground here, okay? And I'm, I'll sit my butt on his chest, okay? As I do that, I'm gonna kick this leg as high as I possibly can so it's the hardest angle for his leg to fall. If I stay kinda facing this way, and I try to just kick my leg, then he's gonna follow it. If I stay facing this way and kick, he's gonna follow it. But if I turn completely and fall back, now he can't follow it, okay? Because I can kick my leg high enough that he won't be able to follow it, okay? Once I'm out of it here, it's probably gonna be a scramble, okay? To where he's gonna start pushing on me, I'm gonna start sprawling back. You know, I'm probably not gonna land past his guard. Um, he's probably gonna recover. But now any kind of a guard where we're out here, is already better than if I were in the half X guard. So I escaped that crummy position and now I can start passing again, okay? Now another thing that happens sometimes is I have the opportunity to roll into an oval plaza here, okay? So this happens when the guy's doing this type of a half X where he's hugging around my leg, okay, like all the way through. Like sometimes people do this where they're hugging super tight on your ankle and like maybe even really high up here, the higher, the higher it'll be, he's hugging, the easier it is for me to get the oval plaza. Okay, so I push it off, I turn, I sit back, okay, now I land here, let's turn this a little bit, okay, now I land here where he's hugging on my leg, okay, once he's here, I just pull up, okay, forward roll over my shoulder, okay, and look to that opposite side, pulling up on his elbow here, okay, and I end up here in a solid omoplata, feet back, sit forward and get the finish there. 
all right? So that's a super solid one. And okay, the omoplata is fun to play around with and you can definitely catch it um, a lot of times, especially if that guy is really holding your leg hard. If he wants to hold onto that leg with everything, it'll make getting the omoplata more easy. But getting that back step out of the half X is really, really solid. I use it all the time. Travis uses it all the time too. Okay, so try, start to get that into your game. That's one that's worth putting it in there and making it just a reaction. Person puts you in that half X, kill it, boom, step out. Okay, it's gonna save you a lot of trouble, a lot of sweeps, and okay, and probably win you a lot of matches too. So if you enjoy the content, please add a like, please comment underneath, please share this video with your friends. Okay, let me know any questions that you have in the comments. Please subscribe, okay, and keep checking back in each week for another technique. We'll see.